Today we're going to take a look at the Lee Valley LED Magnetic Mount Work Light. It's a light that's marketed towards carpenters or people who have a workshop, but actually I think it's probably one of the better sewing lights you could buy. In fact, in the end, if you're a sewer, this light is probably better for what you do than any light you'll find in a sewing store or sewing supply facility. Stick with me for the next three minutes to find out why. <laughs> To me, my sewing machine is just like any other power tool. And when you think about it, sewing and carpentry aren't really all that different. You take some raw material, you measure it out, you cut it up, you fasten it back together, and that's your project. And so when I get a sewing accessory, I treat it like any other shop tool. I don't tend to suffer products that can't manage the job. I want something that's reliable, that will help me do work that's repeatable, and something that's strong enough to last. It used to be sewing machines would always come with a light. Of course they did. Sewing involves a lot of very small components. When you want to see what's going on down with the bobbin, or you gotta thread the needle, or you're just checking out your stitch length, you need to see. It's a critical part of sewing. These days, there's an awful lot of LED lights available for sewing machines, and they're all just Junk. Lousy wiring, poor soldering, plastic build quality, they're all just junk. Anyway, I got frustrated with all that. I checked out LeeValley.com, which is a supplier of tools in Canada that's most famous for its woodworking tools. They had this LED work light that was magnetic, and I think, though it's not intended for sewing, it's actually the best sewing light I have ever bought. It takes three AA batteries. On those three AA batteries, it lasts about five hours. Buy six rechargeable batteries and a charger. You can have three on charge and three in the light. You'll probably never run out. It takes way less than five hours to charge three AA batteries. With those three AA batteries in it, it weighs just a little over a pound. It's 26 inches long and the gooseneck is 18 inches. That allows you to attach it to any metal point on your sewing machine or on your sewing table and move the light around wherever you need it. Any angle, any position. Though I wish the gooseneck was just a smidge thicker? It does hold in almost any position I put it in. The key to the light seems to be the 30 millimeter diameter rare earth magnet that's built into the base. It's super strong. Once it attaches to my machine or my sewing table, it's not going anywhere. There's a little quick release side clip that comes with it. I never use that. It has a smaller magnet. I just don't like it as much. But the magnet that's built into the base is really, really good. If you don't have any ferrous metal in, on, or around your sewing machine, for five bucks more, they sell you a little nickel plated plate with a hole in the middle. You can screw it onto whatever you want and suddenly you can mount the light there. Chances are your machine has some metal on it and you're just gonna attach the light right to it. It's super bright, but unlike a lot of LED lights, this one is focusable. There's a lens built into the front of the light, pull out on the lens and you'll focus the light right in. I'm able to illuminate just the point at which the needle makes contact with the fabric. Or if that's too much illumination or it's not broad enough, just pull back on the lens and you'll fill the whole table out with light. Having a light that's on a neck like this allows you to move the light around. If your hands are in the way, if the fabric is bunching up in a way that creates a shadow, just move the light around. Not only that, but when you're done using the light for sewing, you can put it on your drill press. You can take it out to the car when you gotta work on that. I have a van that's full of equipment. At night, it's pretty hard to see that equipment. The magnet just sticks to the walls of the van. Suddenly I can see everything. I think this tool has a lot of value. It's strong, it's durable, it does the job. I'm sick of LED lights that don't work or that break after two minutes of use. So far, I've had this one about a month. It's doing great. The housing and base are made of anodized aluminum and a water resistant switch, which feels pretty solid. It's really more like a security guard's flashlight with a gooseneck in the middle. Most LED lights that I've tried for my sewing machine, if you drop them, I don't think they're gonna survive. This one will. Hope that helped you out. The thumbs up button and the subscribe button are right below. If there's any way you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. But even if you don't, feel free to leave a comment. Comments help me make the channel better and that's what I'm after. Until next week, take care, have fun, stay safe on your DIY projects, and I'll talk to you next Saturday.